Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your trusted Toyota resource. I will be your Toyota resource. Put your tiny hands in mine. Thank you, George Michael, for the lyrics. And also thank you, Toyota, for giving us these awesome Toyota 4Runners. What are we going to do with the third row compartments? There are three different choices. As you can see, what's behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? Which one will you pick? To do this demo, I'm going to be using a tape measure here, and I'm going to be using three of our awesome 2020 Forerunners. Let's go. Our first contestant in our game show of love is the sliding rear cargo deck. Our second contestant, nothing, empty cargo space. And our third contestant in the game show of love, third row seats. When you have an empty third row compartment, that's perfect for luggage. So let's say you've got a family of four. One, two, three, four. You can fit in the two rows, but also let's say you're going to the beach or a mountain trip or just going away for the weekend or maybe just moving from one spot to the next, maybe a college dorm room. You're gonna have most of your cargo space out of these three choices. So, handy dandy compartment here. It looks like this is about 42 inches from the bottom. And then we're gonna guesstimate this one right here. It's gonna be less obviously, probably about 34 inches at the top. Now let's test out the width. Here's the trick is that you've got the wheel wells right here cut out. They're great for storing things, but if you don't have anybody sitting back there, it does limit what you can do. I'd say this is about just under 44 inches. So let's say 43 inches across the smaller part and then the larger part that's going to be about 56, 57 inches. Let's go to the top. How do we want to do this? Let's go this way. It's like this and like that, like this. And uh, all right, so it is about 36 inches from the bottom right to the top if you have to load something in. The other thing you can do is fold these seats down so we do have to make a couple adjustments with the second row. So now they're just about flat. There's a little hump right here, but you can stretch out. Take a shot, modeling photo, glamor shot, holla. And then on this one here, if we want to measure to the back of the seats that are now folded up. It's about, let's call it 65 inches. So there is a tremendous amount of room for storage and hauling with the empty compartment here. What do you think? Would this be useful for how you and your family would use it? Another choice we have, second choice up, is the sliding rear cargo deck. We'll do this one next. So obviously it pulls out and then there's a handle right here. You just turn this and then you can close it, you can open it. Some people will use this, some people just won't have any use for it. I think it's great for sitting up here. It holds 440 pounds, so it holds me even with this bigger gut that I've got. You guys gotta help me to lose this gut, maybe by the end of the summer or something like that. It's gotta happen. Call me pig gut or something like that. Don't troll me though, I hate trolls. I hate trolls, but anyway. So, let's measure. right at about 42 inches. The distance across is gonna be the same. That's still about 44 inches, but the height might be changed because we have it raised up. Plane, cool plane, all right. This is gonna be about 32 inches. The other one was 36 inches. Maybe 32 and a half, something like that. And that makes sense because this is about three inches or so. Makes sense. And then the other seat, it folds down just like that. I'll show you. So when this one folds, 
it's completely 100% flat. There's no raised hump, we'll call it. It still fits me. And it allows me to slide out like Bo and Luke Duke. Come on, Flash. Coo, coo, coo. Get in the truck. Shepherd and lost sheep. Shepherd and lost sheep. Come in, boys. That was Uncle Jesse. This distance should be the same in my hypothesis here. Yeah, right at about 65, 66 inches, right in that range there. Actually, it's closer to about 67 inches. Maybe because I have the seats more forward or something like that, it allows the back of the seat to push more forward. That could be a hypothesis. This is a really weird camera angle. What I'm doing is I'm showing you how the seats fold out here. So when you have a third row seating, you pull this lever and out pops a seat. There's a lever right over here if you want to detract it, retract it, retract it. So anyway, you can sit right here like this. I know it's cutting off my head, I get that part. But this is how you sit in the third row seat. To move the second row seats, there'll be a lever underneath here where you can push it back, push it forward, and then if you just wanna slide it to get to the back you pull that lever right down here and then you can go to the back of the third row seats so that's how that works now let's look from the back and then to put the third row seats down you want to move the headrest by popping that popping that and then pulling this lever and then they fold down so look at this phenomenon here You'll see that it has a little bit of a gap, but you can adjust this by sliding the second row seats forward and backward. So this closes up the gap so that you won't have things, big things falling down or anything. I would say this is on more of a slant, but it's not like a raised hump. It's just more whoop, like that, maybe 80 degree angle, 85 degree angle, something like that. Let's check the height and see if that changes from either of the first two options. This right here is about 31 and a half, right there, 31 and a half. So this scenario with the third row seats, it has less room and it's because this is raised up right here. You can see that it's raised up about four or five inches or so. So that makes total sense why it would be less room to clear when you have something up. And we'll just measure across just to see if we have any anomalies. About, come on Jeff, about 43 inches across. This is about 56 inches. And then what's this gonna do? This is the only one of the scenarios where the seat doesn't actually fold up in the second row. You don't pull it up and then it's not that vertical cliff sort of thing. This one has more room. This is about 72, about 72 inches. So it's about six foot right there. I can see a six foot piece of plywood. We'll do a bonus segment here. I'm gonna recommend getting this all weather cargo tray. This is what it looks like when you have the sliding rear cargo deck. It's lipped so that if anything liquidy spills out like detergent or soda or anything like that, it's just gonna kinda occupy the space of the cargo mat, but it's not gonna spill over onto your fabric or other materials. And it fits pretty nicely right there. Now let's take the camera over here. This is what it looks like when you have an empty space. Right here, it's still lipped as you can see and these are usually about only let's say 99 dollars something like that they're very reasonably priced but they make a world of difference so that's the empty spot one and then we'll look at the third row one it's got cutouts here for the third row latches so if you want to do that but this is what this one looks like right here Gonna be a tough choice i can't wait to see what you pick and remember the 2024 runner has been refreshed with a few important features and upgrades and things like that to make life simpler more 
functional and look better. We've got all new redesigned eight inch screens. We've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, Toyota Safety Sense. So many big improvements. Two USB ports in the second row so that you can plug in and stay connected to the world. Lots of good things going on here. I highly recommend the 2020 4Runner. This is the Nightshade 4Runner Limited Nightshade. What do you guys think of it? Thank you guys so much for watching. So which one do you like better? Third row, empty compartment, or the sliding rear cargo deck? Write down your answers because I would love to know your feedback. And also it helps my channel if you love the video, you like it, you comment on it, and also if you share it with somebody else. So feel free to do that, I would love it. And also go to torquenews.com. I'm gonna put some other dimensions and measurements in my story that I'm doing this afternoon on the Forerunner third row compartments. Woo! Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all. See you next time. Wah, 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 wah. Tape measures are not supposed to do that. Goodbye.